may think uh, suicide Th because they, they think that this is our life and we can do whatever we want but this is not their right this is not true this is the life of the Creator and they are the creatures of the Creator and they have some abilities and they have some faculties they have to use them they have to reason and understand what's the meaning of this life and they should follow the true path the path of the truth when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it clear for them they have no right to deny it they have no right to overlook it ذَلِكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَفْرَحُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ وَبِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَمْرَحُونَ So be patient as people of truth as people of goodness we should be patient in this life we should know that there will be in every century in every time there will be people of unjust the people who tortures the others the people who think that they are superior to the others the people who denies their creator and wants to live the, this life according their desires this is their choice and they Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened them this way so they are consuming their opportunity they are in fact in, uh, harming themselves and consuming their opportunity of the hereafter we should be patient we should know that these people will exist in every time we should only fulfill our responsibility toward our creator we should worship him we should reason we should understand the truth we should follow the truth and the most important we should acknowledge the truth whenever we understand them and we should share this truth with the other we should warn them we cannot say let them live as, it, as they want we cannot say that we should go and warn them this is our responsibility but after warning them we cannot do we cannot coerce them to believe we cannot coerce them to respect their creator this should be voluntarily unless it doesn't make sense let's move on to the ayah number 76 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ادخلوا ابواب جهنم خالدين فيها فبئس مثوى المتكبرين enter it will be said to them those whom we talk about them in the ayah number 75 and those the same people was in the ayah number 74 and in the ayah number 73 it will be said to them there are all those whom you used to consider partners we talked about this issue that they produced idols and they produced uh, they associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to open uh, an era for them in order to leave their desires they wanted to manipulate the religion they wanted to change their religion through these idols and changing the religion producing the deities the false deities is uh, it's not their aim this is uh, this is they do this because of they want to reach their desire they want to be free from their creator the only one God when you produce many gods you will be free between them and the others gods they, they do not have a mouth to speak they do not reveal anything to you you will make them speak like Quraysh they were speaking on behalf of the deities 
So they were set, setting up their own religion. Their religion was man-made out of their hands. So when people try to associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants to be free in this life. إِنَّمَا اتَّخَذْتُمْ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْثَانًا مَوَدَّةَ بَيْنِكُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا This is uh, the determination of uh, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. He said, these awthan, these idols, because of your love toward this life, you produce them in order to be free and live your uh, desire, enjoy your life wherever and whenever you want. So these are the mushrikun, whom their actions encompassed their aqidah, their belief. If you disobey Allah Azza wa Jal, and if you continue disobeying Allah Azza wa Jal, then you will lose your belief toward Allah Azza wa Jal. After a while, you will not be you will not be able to stay as a believer. So, be careful towards the disobedience, towards ma'asi, towards sins, because continuing, the continuing doing sin after a while will affect your belief. بَلَا مَنْ كَسَبَ سَيِّئَةً وَأَحَاطَتْ بِهِ خَطِيئَتُهُ Whoever gained a khati'ah gained a sin, a crime, and then his crime, his sin encompassed him. These are the dwellers of hellfire. After a while, if you dis disobey Allah Azza wa Jal, without turning him, without repenting to him, if you, you continue sinning, if you are such a uh, such sinful person, without any concern, Toward Allah Azza wa Jal, then after a while you will lose your belief as you lose your respect toward the Creator. So these are the Mushrikun and their shirk, the, uh, the main reason which led them to shirk is uh, their desires, their uh, intention in fulfilling their desires. Allah Azza wa Jal ultimately said to them, Udkhulu. So, this command to those who associated others with Allah Azza wa Jal. And they are the dwellers, they are the real dwellers of hellfire. Udkhulu, enter Abwaba Jahannam, the gates of hellfire. Khalidina fiha, not for a while, not temporarily. Khalidina fiha forever ادخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين فيها they will stay there forever eternally they will be eternal there and that place is eternal ادخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين فيها enter the gates of hellfire eternally in it خالدين فيها فَبِئْسَ مَثْوَى الْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ Enter the gates of hellfire to abide therein. فَبِئْسَ مَثْوَى الْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ And what an evil abode for the arrogant, for those who were arrogant, المتكبرين. So, with this ayah, we will understand that in the ayah number 75, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking about the arrogant, who refused the truth arrogantly, who neglect the truth arrogantly. فَبِئْسَ مَثْوَى الْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ Mutakabbir, arrogance against Allah Azza wa Jal. They said we do not need to, in, uh, to confront with our Creator, to acknowledge Him. We will. We want to deny him. We will overlook him. 
those who were arrogant in their life. Allah Azza wa Jal in this ayah says, "Udkhulu abwa ba jahannama khalidina fiha." So jahannam for them who were arrogant against their Creator, who insisted on denying Him, who said to their Creator, "No matter how you make." The truth clear for me I will deny them I will deny it because I do not want to live in accordance with your laws I want to be master of my life I do not want to remember my creation I do not want to consider my creation I want to feel that I was existed I existed without a beginning and I will not die. Those, the arrogance, they feel in this way. If you look at their still of life, you will understand that they feel as if they didn't create it. And they feel as if they would not die. They live the moment. The most important thing for them, the moment. They do not want to consider about the past, and they do not want to reflect upon the future. Leave the moment. The Satan say to them, leave the moment. And reject the truth. Reject your creator. This is the arrogancy. Denying your creator. While at that moment they were certainly aware that this is not the truth they are not the creator of themselves and they are not those whom whom will not die they were they were aware that this is this pleasure only for a while but they said do not think about anything else just take the pleasure live the moment and they through this understanding consumed their opportunity and denied their creator didn't use the most valuable faculties which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted them reasoning, understanding realizing what's the meaning of this life what should they achieve from this life and what's behind after the death so they consumed their opportunity till they came before the gates of Jahannam. Allah Azza wa Jal, it says it will be said to them, Udkhulu, and we seek refuge in Allah Azza wa Jal, to be one of them. Udkhulu abwaba Jahannam, it will be said to them, enter the gates of hell, Jahannam. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا Eternally in it. فَبِئْسَ مَثْوَ الْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ And what, what an evil about Jahannam is for the arrogant. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَائِرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَبَّنَا لَا تُؤَاخِذْنَا إِنَّ سِينَا وَاخْطَأْنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْنَا إِصْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قبلنا. ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته